Hello, I'm Didier, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can analyze a Word document with VBA macros that was created using Metasploit. And this uh, document is easy to recognize because this Metasploit module will always create the same macros. And later I will show you how you can create your own document for uh, practicing analysis and also how you can easily recognize it. So we can analyze the file with the uh, OLED dump. And it contains macros. Now also, uh, it contains Word VBA project.bin, so it is a docm file. So we can select the first stream here that contains macros and dump the macros. Like this. We have this here, the, we will see that later. So here we have auto open, so this will execute automatically. And in the loop here, it is going to search for the built-in document properties for a property that is called comments. And if it finds that, it will extract the value, base64 decode it, and then depending on Mac or Windows, it will launch the function execute for OS X or execute for Windows. And here this declaration of system is necessary for execute for OS X. Okay. Execute for Windows here will just write the decoded content here to disk with in a temporary file with extension .exe and then it will execute that file. For OS X, it will just do a system, pipe the code to Python and execute that. So on uh, Windows, the payload is an executable that is written to a temporary file on disk and then executed. And uh, on OS X, the payload is Python code that is executed. And this here is the base64 decode function. Now, to look at the properties, the uh, comments properties, we have to look into the file itself. So this is a docm file, which is actually a zip container, and with, with zip, zip dump we can look into the content. Here we have our uh, VBA project.bin file, and here docprops.core.xml. This is an XML file that contains the properties. So with the zip dump here, I can select that file 13 and dump it. And as you can see here, the description here contains indeed a base64 uh, encoded payload. And here, this start here, TV upper. Uh, case Q lowercase. This is an indication of MZ at the start of an uh, executable. Now we can decode that with the uh, base64 dump. So I'm going to pipe this into base64 dump, and I'm going to look for decoded uh, sequences that are longer than 20 bytes, so that I eliminate all smaller uh, decodings. And here we have our decoded. Indeed, it starts with uh, MZ. Uh, it is an executable. I can select it and dump it and then pipe it, for example, to PE check uh, to analyze PE files. And indeed, it is a PE file with different sections. and other information. Now this uh, executable also contains strings, which we can dump with strings uh, pi command, like this. And if we scroll back a bit, here we have the URL 
that is uh, used by Metasploit here to make uh, the connection. And here the user agent string that is used for this uh, HTTP payload. Now this URL here can actually be decoded. This here contains the a unique ID, a payload U, UID. And this is something for which I've written a small tool that can decode this. So I pipe this into my tool, meta tool, and I look for URL UID like this. So when it found this pay payload UID, uh, URL, which contains a payload UID and then information like the platform, Windows, the architecture, 32 bit, and then the timestamp when that payload uh, was created. That's in uh, UTC. That's when I created uh, this payload. I also have a Yara rule to detect uh, this file. This is uh, the Yara rule and it just looks for, for this uh, identifier. Hmm. Since uh, the Metasploit generated Word document always uses the same macros, the, the ID is also always the same and we can use that uh, to detect it. So with zip dump, I provide the Yara rule and the document and then you can see here that the Yara rule triggers on uh, the VBA project uh, .bin file. And now I'm going to show you how you can use the Metasploit framework to create uh, this Word document so that you can practice uh, analysis by creating your own and uh, also how you can uh, detect it for example with uh, CLAM RV, AV uh, antivirus. So we have to use the module. Now it's uh, in exploit, but it's actually not uh, an exploit. It just uses uh, macros. So multi file format office, like this. That's the module that we are going to use. These are the options. And you can change the file name and you can provide a, a custom template. So what this module will do is create uh, work with the docx file and also with your payload and then combine that with macros to make a docm file so when the macros never change that's how we can uh, easily detect it but it uses a standard uh, docx file but if you want something else for example with another message inside you can uh, provide a custom template we are not going to do that here. We are just going to use a payload. And I'm going to use Mieterpreter. Reverse HTTP like this. This requires an L host, and I'm going to use the Lubac adapter. And then I can just run exploit to create a file. You can see here from where it got uh, the template, docx, this is the folder where it finds it. It injects the payload and in base64 as a command then injects the macros and then it creates uh, the file which is uh, stored here. So the file has been uh, created here. And here I have the file and I can show you when I scan this with uh, Clam AV. like this so 
So the antivirus claim AV detects the files here. Metasploit Office Word uh, VBA. So this is the detection, and that is a custom detection that I made. It's a, a simple detection. Here, it is uh, just the MD5 hash of uh, the VBA project.bin file, so the OLE file that is inside the zip file, the length, and then uh, the signature Metasploit Office Word uh, VBA. So that is how you can uh, analyze a file, create your own file for analysis, and how you can uh, detect it.